$2,000 uh, a month, a month in return for getting a chip put in your hand. You heard me right. We'll give you universal basic income, basically, 2,000 euros, $2,000 a month, if you allow us to put a microchip in your hand. That's exactly what's about to happen as part of the rollout of the central bank digital currencies. That's a carrot for them to rope you into this mess. We'll get to that part of the story in a minute, the chip implantation process, not the corn chip, as Dan said in our chat, but a actual metallic tracking chip. Um, but a new report just published this week by the Bank for International Settlements explains how our new digital money system is about to work. We've been warning you that this, this was coming for a long time uh, on this show. Also, we weren't the only ones predicting this. Uh, it was predicted in a little book. You might have heard of it called uh, The Bible, uh, The Mark of the Beast. Uh, for one thing, this new system, this is how this new system would operate. According to them, the Bank for International Settlements, the new reserve currency, forget the dollar as you know it, basically. This will be the new reserve currency, which is what, how they want to label it and how they are labeling it. This would be used to settle all transactions. As everyone moves away from the U.S. dollar right now, this seems like perfect timing to be moving to this new system. So are they purposefully torpedoing the U.S. dollar in preparation for a global a global new uh, reserve currency. One might wonder, right? We don't believe in conspiracy theories around here, uh, but you have to wonder. It could include the confiscation of all property, physical property. By assigning it, every uh, every item would see, receive a real world, every real world item would receive its own unique digital token. So what do you guys think about this, right? This idea that they could, I'm not saying they're going to, but you know, your car, your house, all of these sort of physical items that need a token process, you have to get them, you have to get them digitally tokenized in order for you to claim ownership of these items. No more selling cars without a digital token, right? No black market of selling cars. They all have to be tokenized. They all have to have a digital tracking ID to know exactly who owns them through this, what they call this transparent process. So it's like a blockchain for the world. Right. I mean, it would be on the blockchain, right? Everything would be, the, everyone would be given a tokenized digital ID. And I'll, I'll explain more about exactly the tokenization process in a moment. But basically, the idea that if you don't comply with this, then we're going to take your property and, and tokenize it ourselves is the, is the idea. Um, and they won't come out and say this, but that's exactly what some people are, are worried about.